Hello everybody, welcome back to Valheim. Uh, some things may have changed on here since the last stream. Let me just pop over here real quick. Alright. Alright, um, so if you joined me on the last stream, uh, one of the points that I brought up was that I wanted to start playing some modded Valheim. And um, <clears throat> the stream ended with me defeating... Eichther, the first boss, and uh, getting ready to go into the Bronze Age. Um, so I went ahead and I installed a whole bunch of um, mods. Excuse the screen for just a moment. Sorry about that. I went ahead and I installed a bunch of mods. Um, I'm bringing the list up right now. Um, so I just want to give a rundown of the mods, and when I upload this to YouTube, I'm also going to link all of these in the in the description, and I'll see if there's somewhere here on Steam for me to link all of them. Um, but yeah, so I've got Bep I N E X, which is the uh, controller for all of the mods, the launcher um, kind of. Um, so that's the first one that you need, um, and then all of the mods that I've got on here, I've got Auto Fuel which um, automatically pulls fuel and um, ore from your from the ground and from your boxes to uh, cook in your smelter. Uh, crafting with containers, um, I believe that that pulls items from your containers for crafting so you don't have to like keep going and finding them in your boxes. <clears throat> clock mod, which adds a little daytime clock to the screen so that you know what time it is. Hold on, let me turn that down a little bit. That's a bit loud in my ears. Um, yeah, so uh, day, daytime clock so that you know what time it is in-game. Um, so you know how much time is left in the day. Uh, custom graphic settings allows you to adjust the uh, brightness in the game. So I, w I was able to make it a little bit brighter um, because those caves are really dark for streaming. So I um, wanted to be able to do that. Uh, Custom sales, I need to figure that one out. Um, I'm looking forward to it, but it allows you to add art from online to all of your sales. So you can like customize your sales, which is kind of cool. Um, custom slot item library, which allows you to, uh, it's like a uh, required mod for some of these. Uh, Dwarf Be Gone decreases the amount of gray dwarfs that spawn because. They're just, they're an annoyance, man. Um, they're not a challenge after, like, the first couple of days, and they're just, they're annoying. Um, equipment and quick slots. Uh, I believe that adds um, little uh, item boxes for your armor and possibly for food. So I, I think the food one was on there, too. Um, but basically, like, your armor and stuff goes in slots, so it's not taking up inventory space which is real nice um, farm grid uh, basically when you're farming it creates a grid pattern for you so you're perfectly placing your crops so that they're growing healthy and you don't got to worry about trying to like um, space them out correctly uh, fog off so just like it says it turns fog off I think it turns rain off too um, inventory sort it adds a sort key to your boxes and your inventory so you can sort everything, which I'm seeing the key for it, but it hasn't been sorting things for me, so I'm not sure. Maybe because my inventory was full. I'm not sure, though. Um, item drawers. It adds an, a, a drawers item. I believe it takes 10 fine wood to make it, um, and it allows you to put one item in it, but a mass quantity of it, so all that stone that you get and all of those... Uh, uh, the what is it amber is that what it's called um, that you get from the great ores um, so it's not take it's not cluttering up everywhere um, multi craft uh, that allows you to instead of creating one of an item you can set it so that like if you want to make some stacks of arrows and you want to make like five stacks of arrows you can set it for five and it crafts all of them instead of having to cr hit craft wait for it to finish hit craft wait for it to finish and do that five times um, no crafting station restrictions, um, so basically you can build without your crafting station, like, being there. Um, like, you, you still need 
to know how to like make the stuff, but uh, you don't have to have a crafting station nearby in order to build, which is cool. Uh, no stamina cost for anything that you use the hoe, cultivator, or hammer for. So that's cool. It means that you can build without having to <clears throat> excuse me without having to worry about stamina. Um, placement unlocked allows you to place things that you can only place on the dirt on top of wood instead. Like you can, you can place them on wood also. Um, so like your furnace, your, or not furnace, but your, um, kiln, um, smelter, all that fun stuff. Um, render settings, it's another thing for, uh, actually I believe that that one, hold on, I'm getting mixed up I think. Um, Okay, I think that that one's the one that allows you to adjust the brightness, and the other one um, helps prevent lag, something like that. Um, or maybe maybe that's the same thing. I don't know. I might have I might have used <laughs> the same uh, two different mods for the same thing. Um, simple recycle. Uh, it has a recycling key to your um, crafting menu, so you can recycle un items like pickaxes and armor and stuff that if you make too many or if like you upgrade to something new um, you can recycle them and get some of your stuff back skill based carry weight so um, this one is really cool um, any movement type uh, skills that you gain so running swimming jumping and sneaking I think um, for each point of skill that you have in those you get one extra carry weight so, actually, I think it's the three, running, jumping, and swimming. Um, so, that's a potential of 300 extra carry weight um, if you max all three of those out. So, that's kind of cool. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Smart containers. Um, it allows your containers to... It allows you to sort things between containers. So, like, if I have stone in one container... Um, I can open up any of my containers, and when I control click stone into that container, it automatically stacks with the rest of my stone, which is really neat. Uh, skill base, uh, I already did that one. Um, true pause, so when you hit escape, the game is paused. Mobs won't attack you, uh, daytime's not going to pass, uh, it's, it's paused basically. <laughs> uh, use equipment and water, just like it says. You can use your pickaxe, your sword, and stuff in water. And it's not going to put it away when you step into water. Very helpful in the swamps. Um, I found that to be really annoying when I was in the swamps in my old world. Um, yeah. Uh, ah, Valheim FPS Boost. So this is the one that boosts the FPS. So the other one must have just been a redundant one that I added in there. Valheim Plus, it just has a bunch of uh, comfort of living type uh, changes. Um, just makes things run a little bit smoother, basically. Uh, Bane Mine. This one's kind of cool. Um, it allows you to, based on your pickaxe level, um, you can hold in left alt while you're mining, and instead of just mining that one little stone, it will mine a larger area, so you're not mining as much as long. And it is in a uh, circle around where you're mining, so like uh, a rate, like if you've got two, if you got 20 points in mining. Um, instead of it being the default of one uh, meter radius from where you're mining at, it will be a two meter radius from where you're mining at, so it'll mine a larger chunk. And then wishbone slot is the last one that I've got. Basically, it just adds a slot for your wishbone, and it allows you to equip the wishbone and the, the uh, weight belt at the same time. <sighs> so, all of that's out of the way. <laughs> now we can actually get playing the game. So, uh, settings haven't changed at all. As you can see, everything's the same. So let's go ahead and start game. Start. Um, when I was testing these mods, um, I went ahead and made my pickaxe while I was testing them. wasn't really paying attention to what I was doing. I was watching. Um, I was rewatching Picard, and just kind of like messing around with the mods to see what all they do, and uh, ended up mining a bunch of copper and tin. 
not a bunch, but I, I mined a little, and I explored the two caves that we found in the last stream. So I did get, I think, eight certling cores. So, um, yeah. Um, and I wanted to test out this brightness. So as you can see, it's a lot brighter in the game. Um, but when you walk in the, into a cave, look at this, you can actually see what the hell you're doing. So, makes it a lot better... Um, you don't got to search uh, in the dark for stuff. And you people um, in the stream can actually see what is going on. So, um, let me pull out a weapon just in case. I'm pretty sure that I killed everything in here, but um, just in case I might have missed something. Uh, but as you can see, um, I've been through here. So, yeah. There were some other cool mods, um, but... A lot of them felt cheaty in a way, um, if that makes sense. So I decided to not go with them. Um, let me exit this cave. Um, I feel like this might be a little bit too bright, so I may have to adjust that at some point. But for right now, um, I, I don't know. I, I think it'll be okay. Um, I'm looking on the my twitch and it doesn't seem like it's too bright um, for viewers so yeah I think it'll work as you can see I'm not getting mobbed by gray dwarfs which normally I would have okay so I've already done this cave too so that's done and those are the, the two caves that I found on the last stream. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's go ahead and pull out, not my torch, my axe. There we go. So I won't have as many of these dudes spawning in and being an annoyance. Which is nice. But I wanted to stream um, because I've got work in a couple of hours, but I woke up at 4. Um, I woke up at 4 and couldn't get back to sleep, so I decided to get up and uh, cut my hair real quick. And I also got a shower. And figured there was a couple of hours before I needed to uh, get ready for work. So just went ahead and uh, started streaming. So, Oh, hi. Oh, damn, that's a brute. Let me, let me uh, not die here real quick. Damn, that dude came out of nowhere. I thought he was just a regular one. So I let him hit me. Wish I wouldn't have done that. Um, let me go ahead and eat. So as you can see, there's hotkeys for my food now. Z, V, and B. I don't know where that brute went. And you're a one star. My health still is not up either, so I need to watch it. Uh, maybe I can peg this dude with some arrows. Come on, run back through there, coward. He's like, coward, you're the one that ran away. Damn it. Am I hitting him or hitting the wall? Okay, I got him. Freaking dick face. Uh, 
So dandelions, I still have not found a use for those things. Um, all right, I gotta get this torch out of my inventory. I keep equipping it. All right. So what I was gonna do before I got distracted by that building and then almost murdered um, was I was looking for more um, caves because I want two more, at least two more, certainly, of course. Um, and then I also want to mine some more ores. Grab them thistles. Some blueberries. That fucking brute, man. That dude almost killed me. Sicko. Alright, um. This is back into the meadows. I don't want the meadows. Let me kill this asshole. Otherwise, he's just gonna keep following me. Might as well grab these mushrooms. And we will. As you do. Ah, oh, geez. Fat fingers. Um, add a quick map marker for it. Alright, cool. So that's Meadows there. I don't want that. Um, meadows is what I was looking for like all day of the last stream. All I could find was damn Black Forest. And now, I don't want Meadows. I just want Black Forest. Alright, let's go ahead and blueberries. Alright. So seeming as though Seeming as though um, there's not a lot of caves in this forest. It's a little annoying. Alright, well, I'm just going to circle around this, kind of, just to see where all the black forest is. Some more blueberries there. Maybe I'll go grab those real quick. Oh, okay, I guess that was the end of that song. Uh, I just heard, like, some metal rifts in my ear, and then it just stopped. I thought it was just a break in the song, but I guess it was the end. All right. A few carrot seeds, so that's nice. That'll help once I get my cultivator and can start farming. All right, is that? Yeah, that's 10 right there. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and mine this up. That's, this is Meadows right here, so. Eh. It's a skeleton and a tower of sorts. Let's lead this dude over this way. Ow. When I said lead this dude over this way, I meant... I might lead this dude over this way, not like get shot by this dude through the bushes. Alright, got him. Alright, um, 
Doesn't look like there's anything to this. A little bit of lag there and also fall damage. So neither was my favorite thing in the world. Alright, we'll go ahead and mark this one too. There are four here, so that makes it worth it to mark it on my map. Mm. So next there. It's a copper deposit. feel like I should have found another cave by now. Hmm. There's a couple of deer there. See if I can... It used to be if you shot a deer and there were others around, like, the others wouldn't run away. I guess they changed that. I don't know. There was another mod that I was thinking about installing, um, and I might still, um, and it is, oh, I think this is a troll cave. It is, um, Quiet Deer. So, okay, those are were already equipped. Let's go ahead and sneak. Troll cave. E. Hey. E hey, boy. Oh shit! I couldn't get around him. It's fucking big ass hitbox. All right, that's cool. Um, I'm going to go in, recover my corpse, and then leave um typically in these troll caves what i do is i come in i take a couple couple of shots and then i leave let them reset come in take a couple shots leave and just keep doing that um unfortunately i tried to be slick and it backfired so rip um so way the fuck up there Okay. <clears throat> uh, I don't got time to be fucking with you either, Grey Dwarf. You really gotta piss off right now. Homie. I should have slept. I didn't realize. So, you can see it says 1701 up at the top, and it's ticking. That is my clock, my in-game clock. Um, so that tells me what time it is in game. So 1700 is 5 o'clock if you don't know military time. Which I know a lot of people do not. We. Yeah, I definitely should have slept. There's another Great Orf. Basically, just follow the mini map uh, as it curves around going upwards. And hopefully, avoid too much in the way of mobs. Can't believe I did that. That was a stupid move. I was trying to get around behind him, and he, uh, 
This hitbox was just too big. I couldn't do it. What I may have to do after I get my stuff um, is I need to head straight north now. Um, eat my food. Um, well, dip out of the cave, eat my food, and then try to kill the uh, the asshole. And um, ah. I need to actually be up on this hill. Going in and out of the cave, kill the dude, um, and then make my way back home. I don't know. It's like, it's at the point of the day-night cycle in-game that it's really going to suck to try to get back home. Because, like, if it was... I'm going to have to skedaddle out of here real quick so that I can reset my stuff. Head. Hey, what is this? Pants. Tunic. And then we got meat. Mushrooms. And I'll go with honey. Yeah, and then Z, V, B, 5, Flame Arrows, so as you can see, like, hitting while you're in sneak mode does a lot of extra damage so if you did not know that just give me a few seconds come back in and he should be reset that is if he doesn't see you <laughs> which he saw me So I'm just going to give him a few. Come back in. See ya. He was not reset very well. He was still right there, so... We can actually build a fire if I've got enough stuff. I do. So let's three fire right there. And we can actually build a bed, I believe. Right here. Can I sleep or do I need a crafting bench? Oh, I can sleep. Cool. So that allows me to pass through the day. Only a comfort level of four, but I'll take it. All right. Day 20. Ah. He was not reset. He should have been reset. I don't like that. Maybe if I step away a little bit. And try it again. Yeah, he's, uh, he's not resetting, which is a little worrisome. Which 
just step away a bit. Give him a minute. Let him breathe like he's a fine wine. Maybe try um, destroying this stuff here real quick. All right, chill out, dude. Chill out, homeboy. Ombre. Yeah, fighting in these caves because they're so small. Um, it's really impossible to beat these guys any other way, um, because they're so large, they take up so much space. So basically, you just got to keep going in and going out, taking pot shots. And hoping that they actually reset like they're supposed to. And also that it will let you leave the cave like it's supposed to. <laughs> Let's hit B and take some more honey. So there were a couple of mods that I think I might install. Um, one lets you eat whether, um, wh whenever you want to. Um, you don't have to wait for the indicator to get low, like for it to start flashing. And another one makes it to where the, like, the health and stamina gain that you have from it doesn't drain over time. Like, it stays until that slot is empty again for eating. If that makes sense. So, um, yeah. A couple of mods that I was thinking about installing there. Okay. He's kind of reset. Hey. Gotcha, boy. Lay your bitch ass on the floor. Grab these yellow mushrooms because these are delicious little snacks. Um, so ruby, some amber. Ah, my inventory's full. Coins. Uh, take all, so it'll take whatever it can. I'm encumbered. That's no bueno. Alright, let's see here. Let's leave the stone there. And I'll take this amber. Alright, cool. So, I'll have to come back here. Let's, um... Go ahead and mark it right here. Uh, troll. And when I come back, I can finish that off. So I think I've got enough stuff to make the troll cape now. I needed 10 troll hide, and I've, I think I just got my... Uh, the last five that I needed, so, um, yeah, let's go ahead and I throw it up here real quick, and then we will also hit V and B, get the most out of it, and we'll just haul ass, try to get back to base as quick as possible. Um, 
Here is another cave. I'm just going to jump in. Um, I'll crouch. And I will do that. Cave. Exit. I just saw a skelly walk by. But that's okay. All right, that's on my map now, so when I come back through, I will, um, when I come back through, I will go ahead and explore that uh, after I am done clearing out the troll cave. Those dudes sounded so angry that I was invading their territory. All right, I need to actually go this way. I'm just, I'm discombobulated a little bit. That's okay. Is that? That's another one that I haven't explored. Okay. Map. Cave. Surprised I haven't gotten shot by a skeleton yet. But that's cool. I'm glad. Alright, cool. So, apparently, uh, there were caves there. I just was not seeing them. So I've got two that I can explore. This one I've already done. Some deer. Just want to get back to my base, drop stuff off, um, potentially make this cape so that I can have some extra armor. That'll be nice. There's also a bonus when you're wearing the full tr whole the full troll hide armor. That was a tongue twister. Um, so once I make the cape, the only thing that I'll have left to make is the helmet. Um, it's actually almost as good as bronze, and you get a sneak bonus for wearing the whole set. So I think you get like uh, for each piece that you wear a bonus five percent sneak, and then I think for the whole set there's an additional bonus for it. So. Okay, so this is what I was mining right here, that copper. Um, I didn't mine a whole lot of it. So I was uh, I was actually mining, and like in the middle of mining, I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I didn't want to do this off of out, outside a stream. I wanted to wait. All right, pig. I really don't want to have to kill you. Oh, and also with breeding my pigs, um, I did get them to breed and make me a uh, baby, a one-star baby. So I killed the no star one and then bred the two one stars so now I've only got one stars in there which is really cool let's grab this honey okay well we'll bring it all out of there and then I'll just grab it on my way out alright so so I'm just I'm basically control clicking this stuff and it is sorting itself into the containers uh, where it goes. It's probably why it was so heavy, is because or my weight was so high because I had uh, that tin in my inventory. All right, so where is there it is? Troll hide. Let's repair everything. All right, troll hide cape. Boom. And then I can pop it right there. All right, so yeah, um, armor's one um, makes you more sneaky, and then uh, twenty-five percent sneak. So all four pieces gives you a hundred percent bonus sneak. So that's what it is. Yeah. Is that wait? Is that it? Or no? I, I think it's with all four parts you get a bonus twenty five percent sneak is what it is. So, yeah. But armor six, armor six, armor one. I think that the helmet is armor one as well. No, nope, it's armor six. So, and then I upgrade them with two troll hide 
and five for the cape. But yeah, I think that that's uh, I think that's pretty cool. I don't know what to do with dandelions. And I can't recycle it, so. Unfortunately, I'm just stuck with it, I guess. Into the ocean, it goes. With all the stuff that I threw out that I could have recycled if I would have uh, had the recycling uh, mod at the time. So, right over here, off of this stone. into the water with you. Alright, cool. So, now, I've got one bonus armor, which, I mean, it's not a lot, but it's extra armor. Um, and if I can kill one more troll, I can get the full um, Pete, the full uh, outfit. So I'll get that bonus to my sneak. Then there's always the... Uh, always the possibility of interesting um, upgrading it so I have to kill more trolls but that's cool I don't mind killing trolls I would prefer killing trolls out in the open but you know I was about to get these mushrooms asshole So is there something under here is the question. Let me let me just mine real quick. I feel like there should be, right? Yeah, maybe not. Okay. Oh, come on. I felt like there should have been something down in there, but whatever. Bro, you really should just stay over there. Shit. 
I'm not trying to chop down the tree. Stop it. Where the hell are all you assholes coming from? Fuck off. God damn. Thinking there was a spawner over here or something the way that these got dudes were coming at me. Oh, it was probably from here. So these barrels you get stuff from, and then you can also break these uh stools to get a little bit of fine wood. Way to get some bonus stuff here. And my goddamn inventory is full again, so that's awesome. Love that for me. Um, I need to follow this around this way. I don't even know why I'm bothering to go back to that cave. I don't have the inventory space for shit right now. I'm going to have to go back home. Um, that can fuck off. Well, maybe I can get some of it. Okay. And I do apologize if you're in chat and you say something to me and I don't see it. Um, it's really hard to keep an eye on chat while playing this game. Um, because... You, you gotta kind of pay attention to what the hell you're doing. Um, otherwise you're gonna get attacked by shit, as you've seen several times, I'm sure. Um, damn, I got that dude on the run. Um, and with chat being over here on this monitor and my game being on this monitor, it just it makes it rough. Okay. Cool. Huh. So my elephant neighbors upstairs have been clomping around and making so much fucking noise the last... Well, the entire time that we've lived here, basically. Um, it is ridiculous. They yell, and it sounds like they're dragging furniture across the floor at all hours of night. It's just, it is so obnoxious and frustrating. I've been woken up more times than I can count by just loud ass people being loud. Okay, so I need to, uh, it's almost nighttime again. God damn it. All right, so I'm going to go home, um, reset my spawn point to back at my actual base. As opposed to way the fuck up here, where there's no spawn point anymore because I destroyed the bed. Um, <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Um, I'll sleep, get some daylight, clean up the inventory. Again, and then I will go... <gasps> excuse me. <clears throat> and then I will go and get the rest of the stuff out of the troll cave. Even with the extra inventory slots, inventory management in this game is a fucking bear. Like, I've, I've literally got eight extra inventory slots. And I'm still struggling with this. Wait, is it eight? No. Yeah, yeah, it's eight. Because it's uh, three food and then five pieces of armor, counting the belt. Which, I don't have a belt yet, but I will. At some point, hopefully. <laughs> Once I get to the uh, merchant, which I could probably do that. Probably not this stream, but next stream. I gotta um, remember where he was. I've got a world that um, uses the same seed. So I can just look on there and see where he is on the map. Which actually, I might do that. I'll just do that on stream. Fuck it. Why not? Pretty sure he's north. If I remember right. At any rate, um, 
yeah, maybe while I am over here at my base, I will build a kiln. That might be a good idea. Trying to avoid this pig. Actually, you know, I'm just going to kill this fucking thing. Just die. Get a bag of meat. Maybe the one that spawns to take its place will be a two star. Who knows? All right. Oh, I didn't get the uh, rest of the honey that I got out of here either, did I? I probably don't have enough inventory for it now, though. Yeah. Rip. Okay. Let's do this. Control click all of this stuff into the. thing all right might need another chest too or a few more chests doing some inventory management is probably a good idea as well um, well not inventory management but chest management like um I know what I'm trying to say. Um, for the life of me, I just can't get the words out right. Some reason that's not working. It should. I'm not sure why it's not. See that? Maybe they fix that bug where you can, or that. Uh, I don't know if it was a bug, but how you could um, stack chests like that. Do that. Okay. Uh, why is it still in this weird menu? Okay, whatever. I don't got time to. I don't got time to fuck with it. Alright. Do that. Eh, I think that's good. Um, so yeah, let's grab the honey up. And then I will grab the stuff and I will go ahead and make a um, kiln. Um, so under crafting. So I need 20 stone and 8 core. So yeah. Um, and it's a good time to test out the... Uh, Thing where I can just pull it from my inventory or from my uh, whatchamacallit actually it's a good time to test and see if I can build it without a crafting bench oh, okay so it's probably not gonna pull it cuz my uh, the boxes are outside okay okay that makes sense so the boxes are outside of are inside of my circle um, that has the stuff in it. I was trying to build out here, so it wouldn't let me. Um, it was going to let me build without the, um, the whatchamacallit, though, the, uh, the items in my inventory. And we'll just go ahead and fill that up. And that'll get us some coal. Alright. So now... I will head back to the troll cave. I've got daylight. 
got the entire day ahead of me. I've got inventory space. I've built a kiln now. I need two more circling cores in order to build the um, smelter. Looking forward to being able to build that so that I can start smelting my ores, get into bronze. I think the first bronze thing I want to make is the bronze pickaxe. I think that that's probably my best thing first, and then the bronze axe. I definitely want to make those two specific items. Bronze axe will allow me to cut down those um, trees to get fine wood. And the bronze pickaxe will allow me to mine a little bit quicker. So, definitely want to be able to mine faster. Thought I was going to be able to hit it. Nope, I need to go this way. Let's not get distracted from what I'm doing. Back to the troll cave. That's that's where I want to be. Interesting song. Reminds me of um, Corpse Bride or um, Nightmare Before Christmas or something. It would be cool to get uh, a couple more trolls, be able to get my uh, troll helmet and upgrade some stuff. But that'll be a little bit further down the road, I think. Alright, so I'm coming up on this cave up here. Getting a little laggy. Feels laggy to me. Just me. No, it's definitely laggy. All right, let me go ahead and uh, log out real quick. And actually, I want to see on the in the other world where that um, trader is. So start game, start. Um, Trader, start. So, all I'm going to do is pull up the map real quick and look on the map. And this will be good information for any of you that want to be able to use this seed. Excuse me, use this seed to find the trader yourself. Oh no. Um, log out. Let me log out oh, because he hasn't been here yet. That's why the map isn't open to him. Um, let me log in with my old character. Try that. And he's actually at the trader. Because in this world, I keep him at the trader. takes away some of the redundancy in the game where you gotta like take a teleporter back to your base then take a teleporter from your base to the trader if you've got a teleporter set up and it's just I don't know it's a it's a bit much so there's there's what he has in his uh, for sale if you've never seen the trader before and here he is so from spawn it's basically just straight down straight south so yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, let's see. Is it is it lagging? It doesn't seem like it's lagging in this world. So, it might have just been too much stuff going on in that world at the time, because there was um 
the wind was blowing it was blowing like particles and stuff so maybe turn off some particle effects medium 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 we'll try that there stream world start a well that's loading take a an acid real quick That's running a lot smoother. I just I didn't want to get up here and go to fight these skeletons and um why why is that that was weird I didn't want to get up here and go to fight these skeletons and be dealing with lag and shit so. so I'm gonna let this dude come to me. Okay, and then there's the archer over there. All right, archer's down. Staggered. Fuck that guy. All right, cool. So those guys are down, so I can go in and raid that cave uh, once I'm done gathering my troll cave items. It would be cool if I could respawn uh, the trolls, like in the troll cave. Like if after so much time he respawned, that would be pretty neat. Because then I would know, I would always know where I can go and hunt trolls. But unfortunately that is not as far as I know um, there's no way to do that. So Okay. Let's do that. All right, that should be everything. These caves are kind of neat, and you you never uh, get to see like see them very well because it's always so dark in here. So yeah, go ahead and pull up my map and just boop do that. All right, cool. Zoom out of my mini map a little bit. Let's see, I got a I got a few inventory slots, so I'm gonna go ahead and head to this cave. Um, we're gonna go f hunt for some certling cores. All I need is two more, so I'd like to get that. Um, I really should stop streaming here uh, in about. 15 minutes, but I think I'm going to go a little bit longer than that. Because I've already got my shower and I'm already dressed, so. guys down. I just didn't want to fight both of them at the same time. If I didn't have to. 
There we go. So that's both of those assholes down. I don't like that it's not stacking these. Um, maybe. Okay. This side's open. That side's open. That one's got a door closed, so... Okay, cool. So this one's closed, too. <gasps> closed, closed. Okay, cool. Rush him. Cool, cool, cool. Guys, a one star. Okay, I'm wondering if because well, that would make sense. I was going to say because I don't have a torch out, like, they can't see me. And my fucking axe broke. Awesome. Well. Maybe that's a sign for me to go somewhere else. Okay, so it just keeps giving me the same location for him, unfortunately. Alright, I'm going to have to come back to this dungeon. inventory of course um, but I did get the Zertling cores that I needed so that's a plus so I got that side I do want to check around this corner here oh, I can't do that though oh no I don't want to search around that corner because I broke my axe so I don't have anything to fight these dudes with um, Go ahead and take the feathers so I can make more arrows. Yeah. Alright. I will have to come back. That's fine, though. That's fine. Um, oh, I don't, I don't have to come back. I can... Oh, well, yeah. Because my inventory is full. I was going to say, I can just... Um, build a crafting bench out here and repair it, which I'm going to do anyway because um god damn it fucking crafting bullshit see that's a mod that I was going to um do was one where your crafting benches don't have to have roofs on them and I should have done it of course ouch it's, it's, it's literally got a roof right now Oh my god, stop it. I just want to repair my shit so that I can fight this dude. Okay, you fucking cunt. Oh my god. Annoying as hell. Like, bro. Fuck off. I'm trying to repair my shit. <laughs> god damn. Like, fuck off for real. Okay. Now. I feel like I've suddenly got an extra inventory slot, which is a little weird. Um, I think it would be worth it to come in and grab that amber real quick out of here. That was in the box, the chest. I think that's probably a good idea because then I can be done in that room at least. 
It'd be pretty cool if the uh if the area loaded. That was weird. Hopefully the game didn't break. Oh, I also realized I need to make a change on my stream layout here. Let me go ahead and do that now. As soon as I have access to my cursor again. Okay, there we go. Um, that can go away and webcam and lock it. Hey, now you guys can see my health bar and stuff. There we go. Sorry about that. I, I noticed it um, when I was watching um, or when I was uploading the stream to YouTube, the last stream that the webcam was blocking that so anybody who was watching wasn't able to actually see what was going on all right so let me go ahead and just follow this around real quick hey there we go see I'm glad that I did over encumbered but that's okay because I'm going to take these and toss them in there um, I will take these and toss them in there I didn't do it um, let me do that that work yeah that worked so I can take my treasures back and I'll just leave those stones here that's fair No longer over encumbered, and I'm free to leave this dungeon as soon as I find my way back out. I want every way but the way that I needed to go. It's this way. Shit. Alright. So after I go drop stuff off in my base, um, I'm actually going to build a... Um, um, Jesus, I can't think. Um, the thing to make ores into bars. I'm going to make one of those. Uh, <laughs> smelter? Yeah, smelter. And then blasting furnace is the next level of it. Okay, so yeah. Um, make a smelter and then, um, throw my ore in to cook because it's an important thing to do. So I'm actually going to do that first before I go to bed because when I go to bed, it will automatically cook all of it. And actually, I've got enough wood that I can throw into the um, kiln to make more charcoal or coal. Yeah, that stuff. So, yee. Grab some sticks on my way through. Eh, stamina. Oh, I can eat everything. Z, B, B. And I can actually use my ability. Little, little ether. Ether, ether. Ow. 
That was a direct shot to my face. What a dick. Okay, that was that was actually pretty pog. Alright, come here fuckers. Let's party. Fuck all of you dudes. All of you. Can fuck off. Alright, cool. So what I'm gonna do is come right over here. Hit three. Smelter. Right there. Okay. And then I will hit two. I'll talk to this stupid bird. Yeah, got it, homeboy. Thanks. All right. I was hoping I could control click all of it in there, but I guess not. Coal in there. And we'll just go ahead and do that. Boom, and then I can just go to sleep. Booyah. Nice. Nice, guys. It's pretty stellar. Alright. So now, all of that should be cooked and ready to go for me. But, before we get going, let me go ahead toss all this bullshit into my goddamn containers what else blueberries um I want to throw my pickaxe over there. Um, I do want to make more flame arrows, so I should have enough uh, stuff. Yeah. So, 20, 40. Oh, see, it's not, uh, it's not giving me the option to craft multiple of them. I'll have to look into that um, mod. 60, 80, and we'll do that. We'll have five extras past a stack, which is fine. Um, regular wooden arrows. 20, 40, 60. 80. That is good right there. I'm not going to go over that. Okay. I was hoping that I could um, do that, but I guess not. Alright. So, copper, coal, smelt that. And then let's go ahead and control, control click that stuff in there. All right. Okay. Okie dokie. Um, I should be able to make a forge now. Yeah, forge. Um, I need a roof over it though. Motherfucker. Okay. Ugh, gross. Alright, I might actually have to build my base now. That might be the next thing that I need to do in-game. Um, probably finish off these caves and then do it. So let me see here. Uh, let's go back to here. Um, 
take that out of there and then I'll just put it in here and that way I can destroy this and I will just put the forge right here for now all right and then do that all right so all right it's cooking the rest of it's cooking copper still um, I don't know how much copper and tin I've got. I've got 10 tin. Interesting. So all the copper must be in there. Yeah, I'm not seeing any, any more copper. So that's fine. Cool. Oh yeah, tin's coming out now. Cool, so now I can make bronze. E. And a cauldron. So. Bronze. It's two and one. So there was another mod. That I'm 90% sure I'm just going to go ahead and install. And it it's a better bronze. So basically, you're using two copper and one tin to make a single bronze. Um, instead, it makes it to where the two copper and one tin makes three bronze. Since you're using three, you're getting three. So, you know, um, something cool to use. All right, so let's go ahead and craft some bronze nails. That unlocks some more shit for me. So now... Control click that stuff in there. And I can make a cart. Um, three. And where is the cart located? Right here. So cool. I've got a cart now. Let's go ahead and flatten. That. Just kind of trying to bring this up a little bit around there take away that hill or yeah the down slope so that my cart doesn't roll off there one of these days alright so let's go ahead and um, cook some meat here wish there was a mod where I could it automatically pulls your meat off there so that you don't like burn it and get coal instead. Because coal's cool and all, but I, I would rather have meat when I'm cooking meat. You know what I mean? That's weird. That's weird. So the roof is not covering these. Properly. So they're decaying. So that's all of my cookables on there. That tails, those tails are going to be done first. Oh 
Okay, well, I lied. That that was done first because it was put on way before everything else. That's okay, though. Alright, cool. That's all my foods cooked. Do that. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so I've got berries here. Let's go check on our piggies. So we got three boars, three one star boars now. Um, so what I could do is kill that guy. And then I can take those and just drop them right there. And then those guys will breed. It'll take them a few minutes, but they'll get to it. And from one of those one stars, I got two leather scraps, two meat. So, it's worth it. Um, I did see a cool, um, almost auto-breeding thing for boars um, online, which was kind of cool. So, I might try to figure out how to make that. Uh, go watch the tutorial for it again and maybe make it in here. Might be worth it. Um, the dude that did it made two cells for it. Um, and had to shut it off because he had way too many boars. Like, there was there was a shit ton of them. Um, but yeah, 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 yeah. Just kind of waiting to see how long it takes these guys to breed. But they might not do it because I'm too close. Might be making them uncomfortable. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, guys. It's fine. We'll just go ahead and... Oh, wrong key. Wrong key. <laughs> I, I just keep hitting the wrong buttons here. It's fine. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. You guys should be breeding. They might be upset because I, I killed their homeboy. That's okay. They'll breed eventually. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't remember what I was getting... Oh, yeah, I was going to go uh, continue exploring that cave. So, let's go continue exploring that cave. I would take the cart with me, but um, the um, the terrain's kind of fucking weird around here, and I I don't want to have to deal with dragging a cart all the way through here. So I think I would rather just wait. Um, use it for ore, and that's it, rather than, um, God damn it, I'm getting lost. Use it for just, like, when I come to get ores and stuff, rather than, uh, caving. Yeah. Some, uh, Mega Man sounding jam right here. Die, motherfucker, die, motherfucker, die. I just assumed that that dude had run away, so I didn't bother to uh, try to shoot him. And I just jumped across, and that's what scared him away. 
Whoops. It's okay. It's quite all right. It'll be okay. It's fine. Ugh. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, make our way back to this cave. It's a good fucking jam right here. Digging it, dudes. This is a. Uh, Surprise me station is what it's saying on the it's what it's saying on the thing here uh, oh no it's, it's uh I, I was reading the wrong thing the defender by black knight battle or the, the defender black knight battle by jake kaufman okay i i can read song titles and shit i'm not completely incompetent i promise Alright, so, you couldn't tell by my playing style. <laughs> I'm going to head back to this cave. I want to try to finish off this cave and maybe make the bronze axe and bronze pick and then call it a stream after that. So those are my three goals. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have enough bronze to do that, though, so... May have to go mining some more. Um, which would be a next stream type thing. Um, I did get invited to play Valheim on a server with some friends. Um, so I may be doing that. I'll probably just take this character over with me. If you can do that. I'm not really sure how the servers work in Valheim. Um, but we'll see. Um, I need to get with the server host and see what the uh, what he's doing with it um, I know that the server isn't up all the time so like it's only up when he's playing but I don't know um, alright so this side is done so let's head in here now We've got this door here, which leads to a whole lot of nothing, which is fine. It's absolutely fine, guys. All right, so this side over here is completely done. Um, let's check this one here now. All right, nothing, nothing really. It's a shitty fucking area all right so everything on that side is done so this door is the only one left oh, I see a skelly right off the rip come on dude couple of archers there these was waiting on me these mushrooms all right so nothing else on that side Grab that mushroom all right this cave is done there actually wasn't a whole hell of a lot left in it so I can actually mark this off on my map as being done all right and then I've got this cave down here now, as far as the trader goes, he should be, like, right down around here somewhere. Uh, right about there. So, I'm just going to I'm gonna do that, and I'll put a T. Um, so, maybe next stream I will go find him. Um, what I was, the point that I was getting to on the whole server thing is I don't know that I'm going to stream on the server... I may make a new character for it. Um, I may stream it just when, when we're playing on it, and then stream this every other time. Um, but I, I think I'm going to stick to streaming Valheim for a while, except for like when groups that I play with are playing stuff. Um, 
and I want to stream that, like Among Us. I actually played on the new Among Us map um, with Paisa Crew. Oh, that was well. It was it was the day after the new map came out, um, and I didn't stream it just because one I didn't know if I'd be playing on it or not because she had she was only playing with streamers and she already had all of the slots filled for it um, so I didn't think that I was gonna be able to play but then someone dropped out um, so it ended up working out for me and of course why does it not let me pick these up these these don't weigh too much do they yeah they're they're letting me get them okay what to say? There's no reason that I shouldn't be able to pick up some mushrooms with that much inventory space left. That'd be weird. Yeah. Um, two more inventory slots. Uh, I can have another 84 pounds. Is this this is another troll cave. Okay. Um, map. Control. Cool. I will come back for that. Um, probably not during stream, or at least not during this stream. But um, probably just do it off off camera. Just come back out of here and do it. Because um, there's other stuff that I want to get done during stream, and really, I I need to wrap stream up fairly quickly. So. What I need to do is find my way back down to my base. Excuse me. Z, B, B. It's a good tune right here. Um, M. I'm just going to call this town. Let's go ahead and uh, Ike throw it up real quick. I, I know that I'm fairly close to my base, but... It's nighttime. I feel cold. Like, let's just let's get back. Quit dilly-dallying. Some of this uh, free music through the, the Pretzel app um, that you can use through Streamlabs, some of it's pretty fucking... Pretty cool. <laughs> uh, it's it's pretty... Uh, the, the word that I was looking for escapes me. Jamming, I, I guess would be the... I, I, I guess would be an okay thing to use for it. I don't know. Um... Anyway, some of it's pretty, pretty righteous, pretty good, pretty good tunes. Do that, that, that. I think that'll be good. Yeah, let's do that. Um, and then I'm going to use the forge. Um, and let's see. Bronze axe takes eight fucking bronze. Yeah, there's no goddamn way. I can make two more bronze. That is... Okay. Um, so that's not going to happen during stream. Um... I'll probably mine some stuff outside of stream because I do play a lot or I, I do have a lot of playtime like when I'm not really able to stream 
Um, so, yeah. I can do that. Um, hmm. I've got a uh, digital illustration that I need to work on. Um, I've got some photography stuff that I need to work on. So those are top of my priority list right now. I think we've got two more weeks left of the semester. Um, and I've got, I've got actually just that illustration left for my one class. Um, my drawing two class, I'm completely done with everything for. I just need to turn it in. Um, which will be next week. I believe that we're turning stuff in. Um, photography. We still got like three different projects left for photography, and she has not posted the things to submit them yet, which I asked her about. But anyway, um, still need to get that stuff done. Um, and then for my one class, I just need to write an email like I'm looking for a job and submit that. And the last class. Um, I think she said something about, uh, mocking up a website, but I've already got my own website, so I don't really need to worry about that. So, yeah, um, I'm basically just one illustration and some photography left and I'll, I'll be good to go. So, um, yeah, let me go ahead and exit out of the forge, step outside where it's open. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream. Um, are you a baby? You are. How did you get out of the pen, my dude? How did you... I wonder if he was born, like, up against the edge. Because, I mean, it's not open anywhere. I double-checked this. I wonder if, like, the pig was up against the corner here, and when it had the baby, the baby just popped out. Or maybe it's because the ground is uneven. That could be, I guess. Well, once you grow up, I will murder you. So, that'll be a thing. Um, but yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I think that I'm going to end the stream here. And um, I, I will see you guys next time I'm on. Um, I would raid somebody, but I need to get ready for work. So, actually, you know what? That's a stupid excuse. Let me go raid somebody real quick. Um, back to Twitch. There we go. Let's see who is streaming Valheim. I do not like the Twitch's uh, search thing for uh, categories. Um, does not pop up Valheim. That's weird. Oh, it doesn't let you search by game. That's why. Okay. Just game genres, not specific games, though, which is really stupid. Twitch, you need to fix that garbage. I don't want to have to scroll through all of these games to find the game that I'm looking for and then probably miss it and have to scroll back up and especially like when I'm I'm trying to end a stream um keeps people from um, being able to like I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. If somebody's trying to raid... Yeah, there's no way that it's that far down. I had to have scrolled past it. People are trying to raid somebody, but they're also like... They, they need to end their stream. Um, it's really shitty. Oh, yeah, it was, it was right there. Okay. Valheim. Let's go raid... Let's go check and see if make sure they're not getting ready to end, end their stream. Uh, this is Ben Bino. Uh, it looks like they're looking for the last boss. So some end game content. Let me kill this music real quick.
Okay, it looks like they've been on for about three hours. Um, and it looks like they're ending their stream, so. Let me go back. Alright. Here's somebody. Vital Morgans. So let's toss him a follow. Okay, let's go ahead and we will raid. Thanks, Artillery J. How's the street? It's going quiet there. Fine. I've now got 69 health, so we'll see. Make sure I'm spelling this right. So, um, let me mute them again. Alright, so we'll go ahead and uh, raid this uh, streamer. Um, looks like they're uh, fairly early game. They're playing multiplayer. Um, so, yeah. Um, maybe, maybe not too early game. Looks like they've got some decent armor. So, yeah. Okay, it looks like they're using the first sledgehammer too. So, uh, yeah, let's go over there and uh, say hi. And I'll see you guys in the next one.